Welcome to the ultrasound tutorial video. In this video, we will talk about the pros and cons of ultrasound, how to prepare a patient, and some of the basics on how to read a scan. Some of the benefits of ultrasound include no radiation, and ultrasound can image blood flow and other moving objects. Some of the disadvantages include the fact that ultrasound can't image through bone, and it is also user dependent. To prepare a patient for an ultrasound scan, you must not allow them to eat for about six hours prior to the scan, so that the gallbladder does not empty and is kept full. Giving clear fluids such as water is allowed, as this will fill the bladder. These two things will allow for better imaging to take place. When reading an ultrasound, the transducer, seen underneath the blue arrow, scans a section of the body and projects this on the monitor below. The left side of the image, marked A, will either normally relate to the patient's right hand side on horizontal section, or on sagittal section, relate to the part of the body nearest the head. Now we're going to have a look at some ultrasound scans. Our first scan is taken from the epigastric region, looking up into the chest. This scan is looking up into the chest and is taken on a slightly sagittal section. Here we can see parts of the heart and the intraventricular septum. As the transducer is moved, we can see the left lobe of the liver. The next series of scans are taken from the right hypochondriac region. When scanning the right hypochondrium, we can see the inferior vena cava with some of the hepatic veins feeding into it. In this scan, we can see a horizontal section through the hypochondrium. As the transducer moves up and down, watch how the hepatic veins feed into the inferior vena cava. Another thing you can look for while scanning the liver is the liver edge. This is useful as an irregular edge may suggest some pathology. You can also measure blood flow in the liver using colour Doppler as shown here. This scan shows a sagittal section through the hypochondriac region showing the liver and the gallbladder. As you look at this sagittal section through the right hypochondrium, see what structures you can pick out surrounding the liver. Some of the structures you would expect to find around the liver are the gallbladder, the inferior vena cava, and around the top of the liver, the diaphragm. In this section, we will look at the lumbar regions, and more specifically, at the kidneys. There are a number of things you can do when imaging the kidneys. First of all, you want to get a nice sagittal section through the kidney to have a look at the different aspects. On this still frame of the kidney, we can see the renal pelvis and even some of the major calyx. We can also see the renal border or renal capsule. Another useful thing while ultrasounding the kidneys is to check the blood flow through the kidneys. This may be useful when trying to elicit any vascular pathology. Now we're going to look at a spectral Doppler of the kidney. This scan shows a precise flow rate through a certain part of the image seen between these two horizontal lines in the middle of the kidney. Between these two lines, arterial blood that is being passed through the kidney is being recorded. A low resistance system is characterised by there still being flow throughout each pulse wave. And finally, it is always a good idea to measure the kidneys to make sure they are of a normal size and that there is no shrinking or enlargement of the kidneys. Now we're going to have a look at the umbilical region and more specifically blood flowing through the aorta. This sagittal section through the upper part of the umbilical region shows the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery coming off it. This scan shows a horizontal section of the aorta with the liver lying over the top of it. Here we can see the aorta with the splenic artery coming off and going to the right hand side of the patient. And finally, we're going to take a look at the hypogastric region, taking a horizontal section through, having a look at the bladder and the prostate. Currently, the transducer is scanning up and down the hypogastric region, 
to view the bladder. The bladder may be easily seen near the anterior part of the abdominal wall with the prostate lying behind it. And finally, I would just like to thank you for watching the abdominal ultrasound tutorial. Try to remember the key points about preparing the patient and the basics of how to read an ultrasound scan. And don't forget, under skilled hands, an abdominal ultrasound can be a very useful investigation. Tool.